Chris Chan for kaijupop.com where today we're playing the Nightmare Cooperative uh, this game by Lucky Frame who previously had done Bad Hotel and uh, Gentleman on iOS and Android and uh, they had done the Nightmare Cooperative for, for PC as well um, so you know this is now just making its way from PC to mobile platforms on iOS and Android uh, coming out um, as we record this tomorrow so August the 28th there you go um, it's a, uh, a roguelike because everything is these days isn't it uh, <laughs> it's uh, one thing that's pretty cool here is that we're I'm actually just for the sake of video playing in, in landscape mode but you can play if you just want to sort of idly swipe at it with one thumb uh, in, in portrait as well uh, that's pretty cool um, but uh, yeah, what the the game is, it's it's a roguelike. Uh, you sort of start off in the catacombs, and you want to progress through uh, from the catacombs into um, the you know there's an ice stage, and then there's you know you, you move from there into the desert, and oh, there, you know, about four or five different locations uh, to get towards the game's end. Uh, but I'm rubbish at this, so I've pretty much only gotten to the second world so far. Um, because it's a roguelike, uh, you can swipe, you're based on the grid, uh, you can swipe in one of four directions, uh, when you move, everything moves, um, and the twist is that you've got more than one person in your party, so, uh, I've got an archer here, and I've also got a, hold on, a priest as well, um, and moving moves everybody in your party as well at the same time, in the same direction. Uh, so you kind of, there's a little bit of puzzling involved in terms of, you know, you don't want to trap people behind obstacles, you want to get them to move on. And you've kind of got, uh, because you've got more than one person in your party, you've got more lives, so to speak. You want to collect potions because, those blue potions there, because each um, person in your party has a special ability. So the archer can shoot long distances and the priest can heal, uh, but only if they have a potion in their inventory. Uh, you've also got these um, treasure chests around, uh, the number two, two, three, and two. Um, when you open a treasure chest, you get coin, which is kind of um, you know you get money, which is uh, kind of current. You don't really spend it on anything, but it's your score effectively in the game. Um, but also, every time you open a treasure chest, it uh, spawns monsters or obstacles uh, on the map. So if I open a two treasure chest, it's going to spawn two monsters. Open three, it's going to spawn three, and so on. Uh, so you kind of have to be aware of that, and there's a little bit of risk and reward involved there. Um, I think we're safe here to advance. Uh, yeah, so the priest, you can see the uh, the potion flashing there. The priest is next to the archer, so he can heal him if he wants to, uh, or if I decide to. Uh, I don't think we're going to bother. There, you know, he's, there's a little crosshair in the thing, so I can choose to spend that potion to shoot that monster, but I think we're all right. This game is more about avoiding combat where possible um, rather than getting into it. Um, there's no real benefit to fighting a whole bunch. Um, you know, it's not a case of getting loot or anything like that. Uh, what you really want to do is get as much as you can from the treasure chest and get to the exit as efficiently as possible. Because there's also, if you see on the right hand side above my two guys, it, it's a counter for how much gold I've got. Uh, but also that number with the red thing next to it that says 20. And that decreases with every turn. Um, so what that is, is uh, the number of turns I can take before it spawns a new monster into the stage. So you can't really hang about, you've got to get moving all the time. Uh, I'm going to use my archer here to pick that guy off. Um, and then at close range you just move into a, a beastie to attack it. Um, but you have to be aware that they will move at the same time as you do, so you've got to weigh up your, your energy there. Um, let's see, I'll let him go past, there we go, uh, maybe not the smartest, because now my priest is going to get, yeah, attacked, which is not good, uh, should have picked him up when I had the chance really, never mind, now I've used all my potions, um, the priest can't heal himself, 
and there's also those two monsters right there, right in the way of where I want to be there. Um, it doesn't just spawn monsters, you see there's that green acid square that's, that's opened up. So it's not just monsters that are spawned in from time to time, uh, but also just general obstacles and things in the way. Um, we're really in trouble here, I think, because I've got to kill that beastie. And yep, yeah. <laughs> I died on the first screen of the game. That's absolutely bloody awful. Um, you know, usually I can get like five or six floors deep in this game, but uh, yeah, that was that was pretty poor. Um, let's replay him. Um, yeah, so you can usually, uh, one thing that's nice is that if you get lost, you can tap on anything on the screen and it will give a little explanation of what it is and what it does, um, which is especially useful when you're first introduced, to, you know, you get a random party. This is, of course, roguelike, so I have things random every time. Um, so it is nice to get a little refresher on what you know, these guys do. So the Astral Walker uh, can walk through walls, which is actually really, really helpful. Um, so on we go, better luck this time, I think, hopefully. Uh, one thing about that, the, the tapping thing, the UI is a little bit slow uh, in, um, in Nightmare Cooperative. Um, it's just, uh, I mean, it's, it's an incredibly minor thing. Uh, one thing, oh, there you go, you saw a monster there get torched by the acid. That's one thing that I really like. It's, um, you know, I love games that are difficult but unrelenting. Yeah, unrelentingly difficult but also incredibly fair. Uh, so I can kill monsters by tricking them, you know, as they go on their routines by walking them into obstacles if, I, uh, if I'm canny enough. So at least now I can advance here. And there we go, on to the, the next thing. Yeah, the, the UA is a little bit slow. Uh, oftentimes I'll want to tap just to get an explanation of what something is. Um, and it will take like two or three seconds for the little dialogue box to pop up. It's such a, a minor thing because the actual gameplay is fine. Um, it's just that for whatever reason, it's, it's really weird. Um, one thing is that, yeah, there, there will periodically be people sleeping in a stage and if I bump into them, then they can join my party. So I can have up to three people in my party here. But I can't have all four of these people, so once I, I pick, I can pick one. I can either have the archer or the ninja, but I can't have both. Next, the other one will disappear. Uh, that was perhaps not smart. Uh, the ninja is good to have because um, he can dart, he can dash through enemies, which is very, very helpful. Uh, but I'm going to go with the archer because he's near, basically. Uh, but we are in trouble with the mage there. Oh, not the mage, but the, you know, her. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> but we could have three moving forward. Khan. Uh, I'm not going to attempt fate. So I do have to be careful there and just use the environment to my advantage to make sure that, you know, uh, I don't accidentally send anybody into an acid pit. That's right, yay, I can advance. So even though I've only got two people in my party, uh, I do have lots of potions and lots of health, so that's probably a good thing. And something weird down here. Bump attack instantly kills monster. First attack on each level only. Ah, so occasionally you do get like these little bits of not equipable loot or anything, but they're, uh, you know, useful little things. Uh, so I can off him instantly, which is great. Uh, but that's, that's single use, so. Uh, once it's gone, it's gone. That shoot over walls, which is helpful. Um, so is this constant thing of uh, dare I open a treasure chest, uh, you know, and risk um, monsters? Coming on board, um, you know, coming into the the level right in the way of the exit. So I don't think I'll bother with it any more treasure chests here and just move on. Uh, so there are four stages uh, within each section of the game, and um, the final section of the game also has like an added layer. There's you know a treasure that's specific to each uh, section, so the Catacombs Treasure, the Crown of Doom, 
uh, there, so I kind of want to pick that up if I can. Um, I'm gonna have to hit that red square switch there to unlock the, you know, to drop the spikes and then I can go in and get it. Um, and here there's a barbarian, which is useful. And a mage attacks diagonally at distance, which is more useful, so I'm gonna have him. And see how we do. So yeah, it's, it's interesting, it's almost, um, I don't know. I th I think there's there's so many roguelikes now um, that it's it's gone past the you know we're we're past the idea of lazily making roguelikes, and we've come full circle into you have to be really dedicated to make a roguelike because there's so effing many of them uh, that my goodness it has to do something different and has to do something good for it to be noticed. Um, and I, it's hard to say whether the sort of little puzzle elements of having multiple people in your party, um, whether that is enough to be different, um, but I do, I am really enjoying uh, my time here with, uh, with the Nightmare Cooperative. Um, and I do, it is kind of very, it does feel more distinct uh, to, I don't know, a lot of the games that, that we've been seeing recently. It does have uh, somewhat of its own uh, personality, and that's pretty cool. Um, it's just that I'm really bad at it. Oh, crap. Oh, full health, full health. We're good. We're good. And I love drawing monsters into these traps. And I'm doing better now, I think, than I ever have been. This might be my best go ever. Hooray! Um, so now I'm gonna have four people in my party. So there you are. I mean, like, it's... The, the better you do, the more people you have in the party. It's like the, the better chance you have, but at the same time... She didn't last long. <laughs> But at the same time, uh, the more challenging it is because you've got more of these people to coordinate and accidentally send into acid pits or open treasure chests that you don't want open. But we're rocking it here. We're doing really well. Uh, that little blood stain there. Right next to the chest plate, please. Get one heart after the first kill of each level. Ah. I picked that up several times, but I wasn't exactly sure what it was each time. <gasps> oh no! That's bad. Getting frozen's bad. Hmm. Hmm, do it to eat, eat. Life. And freezes you at the same time and leaves you open to attack. That's pretty awful. Don't want it. Oh no. Be free. Run away. Yeah, let's carry on this path there. I don't think it's worth trying to get the extra heart. Hey, so I've gone to the end of the ice ball too. Which is cool, and I can get yet another person in my uh, in my party as well. I know, I know, it's all going wrong. Oh, what? I went on right at the end there. I got frozen and then killed terribly. Um, but yeah, uh, I think that's that's. It's pretty cool that you do feel like you're getting better at the all the time. It is a roguelike in the stricter sense that um, you know there's there's no persistency uh, between stuff. There's little bits of information, so okay, it will keep all of the discoveries I've made in terms of monsters and things like that in a database, um, <clears throat> so you can study up on it and feel like you're doing better. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. I like the Nightmare Cooperative. Um, we go back to the title here. There's uh, the usual sort of high school stuff going on there. 
Uh, for right now, it's not really communicating too, too well with Game Center or whatever they're using for online stuff. Um, so sometimes it doesn't update, uh, but it does here. It's not showing usernames or anything like that. In fact, I don't think it is using Game Center, it's using something else. Um, it's just, you know, their own thing. Uh, so it's it's not as personalized as, as perhaps you'd, you'd like, but hey, right now, as of one day before release, I'm, I'm number six <laughs> in, uh, in Nightmare Cooperative, which uh, feels pretty good. Number six out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, you know. Um, but yeah, that's the Nightmare Cooperative. Uh, it's out August the 20, whatever, 28th. And uh, if, yeah, it's it's a it's a pretty nice game. Very slow paced, quite tense, uh, but it's got its own sense of character that, that perhaps uh, makes it stand out a little bit from the uh, hordes of roguelikes that are about. Uh, Chris Jarn for KaijuPop.com. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.